So Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for 13th of September 2017, with it being a Wednesday. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so uh, let's look at the market stats then in terms of uh, today's price action. The two notable uh, variables that have moved quite significantly. Uh, number one, uh, the price of oil uh, above $49 a barrel. Uh, now, uh, that certainly is, has helped the FTSE uh, recover. If I bring up the price of oil here, you can certainly see there's been one hell of a thrust uh, from the 48, sub 48, approaching the 49.5 handle now on the back of IEA uh, numbers uh, supporting global uh, demand. Although uh, the reports for the stockpiles certainly were uh, uh, significantly higher, although gasoline draw was the biggest uh, in history, and therefore that obviously helped the price of oil. In terms of oil also, uh, the talk of the US, uh, Mr. Mnuchin talking up the tax plan, also Paul Ryan indicating a tax plan will be done by year end. Those two comments obviously are along with Mr. Bush, uh, not Mr. Bush, sorry, um, that was another idiot, but we've got another idiot now. A contemporary idiot, and that was a historical idiot. Uh, Mr. Trump, okay, uh, the buffoon, basically who's in charge of the White House, and uh, God help us all, uh, with his flip-flops, just like Theresa May. Okay, um, so the latest is that he wants to go ahead and uh, certainly go ahead for a tax overhaul uh, on a bipartisan um, um, motion, uh, helped by, well, I shouldn't say help because it's a sad tragedy, uh, Hurricane Irma. Okay, certainly uh, seems to, um, Hurricane Katrina, uh, certainly seems to, or should we say Hurricane Harvey, certainly seems to have helped uh, the uh, the uh, the actual motion itself, given the fact that the US is in a state of emergency in uh, several states, okay? And apparently there's more hurricanes on their way. So uh, that certainly is supporting the reconstruction and rebuild, and that certainly is being interpreted as being positive for the equity markets, even though, obviously, it will cost in terms of uh, loss of GDP, but it all seems to be that about stimulus at present, Markets never discounting bad news, never discounting loss of economic growth because they, they certainly seem to perceive that the central bank will always be there and certainly will always have the back okay, of uh, equity prices. And it certainly seems like the search for yield certainly has gone uh, crazy. Okay, That's probably the best way of explaining it. it. certainly has gone insane and therefore the equity markets continuously just keep 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 moving higher on the back of uh, the the conclusion that you buy every dip. So BTFD, hence that was formed. Okay, so that's the state. It's cool. You have oil prices going high. You have copper moving lower, certainly hurting the miners, and therefore obviously being a drag on the FTSE. Uh, the FTSE certainly uh, was helped higher as well by GBP USD. If you bring up well GBP in general, you can see there's a, uh, a sort of sharp fall in GBP, which in turn obviously has helped the uh, the movement higher in the FTSE 100. Okay. Obviously, with oil as well. Uh, in terms of the euro, euro still remains below 1.19. Euro itself still remaining weak. If I bring up a chart, the euro USD, you can see uh, quite a, a significant fall today as well. And that certainly has helped also on the back of the tax plan talk. Tax plan obviously helps the dollar, causes the euro USD to fall, which in turn obviously helps European equities. So, certainly seems to have done the trick. Okay, let's bring up the chart of the dollar itself. Okay, dollar index certainly finding support on the weekly chart as again key. So it certainly seems like the US dollar and European equities certainly seem to be interwoven. Okay, so that's certainly a uh, uh, a relationship you must certainly keep an eye on uh, going forward. Daily chart certainly has for us higher. Four hour chart at the moment you are looking at resistance up here towards gap fill. Okay, 60 minute chart at the moment really is in no man's land. Okay, again the next real resistance in the dollar index will be at gap fill, which is around here. 124.5, which obviously again 200 MA may well come into play. So it's an impressive run on the dollar index, led by obviously expectations of this so called tax plan. Okay, so economic data wise, let's go through the numbers. Or oh, actually, let's bring up the stats first of all. FTSE 100 down 21 points, DAX down 28, sorry, DAX higher 28, French CAC more or less flat. Even with the drop in the euro, the European equities failed to rise. That certainly is a warning sign. Uh, going forward, so bear that in mind, especially with the Nasdaq still fading to break 6,000 on the back of obviously post Apple. So, again, that's a warning sign, keep an eye on that. Certainly, will be a cause for concern. Okay, now in terms of uh, economic stats for the day or data points today, we had inflation numbers out of Germany certainly coming in slightly higher than expected. Therefore, one would have uh, presumed or assumed that the euro certainly would, would rise and remain afloat. It did pop higher initially until obviously tax ban talks certainly hammered. 
the uh, dollar also with regards to the dollar we also had weaker inflation numbers and still again the dollar certainly appreciated uh, we did have mortgage application that was stronger and therefore dollar was supported from that perspective uh, uk data we had um, uh, em employment numbers certainly improving uh, in terms of the unemployment data but the uh, wage growth and average earnings certainly coming in weaker and therefore uh, again uh, causing the do uh, sterling to fall which in turn helped the FTSE 100 recover on the back of a weak copper price obviously um, although higher hold prices did help help the FTSE itself okay in terms of the um, uh, European data we had the industrial production numbers coming weaker than expected although employment change certainly came in slightly better than expected and then obviously we're on to the US data in terms of technicals let's bring up the technical picture here German DAX first and foremost we are now approaching that gap fill resistance we are approaching inverted head and shoulders target so therefore I am looking now for a reversal on the German DAX I did forecast this inverted head and shoulders but I got the timing all wrong folks I did not expect post draghi uh, the uh, uh, the actual reversal in euro it hasn't been that significant but either way uh, dollar index certainly has pushed higher which sent the euro low and obviously has, has spurred this rally in the uh, in the actual uh, dax itself i did misread draghi and i'll certainly confess to that i'm a trader we get it wrong okay we're never 100 percent correct especially when it comes to fundamentals because there are multiple uh, multiple interpretations on every economic data point I certainly expected Draghi to be hawkish and everything else after that Mr. Priyat today as well certainly hawkish Shobel has been hawkish so I'm failing to see how uh, Mr. Draghi was dovish okay even the reaction afterwards until the dollar index finally started to recover uh, the euro certainly was remaining afloat okay well that's the status quo so from my pers perspective it's more of a dollar move as opposed to a euro move and we'll see how that unfolds okay nevertheless that's the status quo and i'm looking for a reversal in the german dax now given the fact that the ihs formation certainly has completed 60 minute chart has put in a double top so i am looking for a reversal back down 12470 and back down to gap fill at 12300 on the german dax that's my interpretation that's my expectation having said that let's just quickly bring up the mdax does that support my thesis yes it does as you can see here we had a bearish uh, close today held resistance or key resistance here and here and therefore you are facing turbulence okay uh, the only index that's really bullish at the moment is the tech all share okay uh, certainly given the fact that we pushed new highs uh, it's still consolidating above the previous highs so therefore you have to obviously support the bullish side there and that's the tech sector and therefore keep an eye on the nasdaq so i would not be overtly bearish on the nasdaq based on that chart okay let's move on in terms of the french cac again this is an index that i'm certainly bearish certainly has bamboozled me as to the the actual strength of the cac the French CAC, especially given the fact that Mr. Macron's uh, popularity certainly has been decreasing. Okay, uh, it seems like he is putting forwards. Uh, I've read in uh, read today that he is putting forth some reforms that are coming on the 26th of September, if I'm correct, and they are labour reforms, and maybe individuals are short covering prior to that because they're concerned. Maybe, maybe a possibility. So again, keep an eye on that. Okay, that argument. But the daily chart at present certainly has factored in the short squeeze, factored in the weaker euro. Okay. And that move really is over for me although having said that let's just quickly verify that with the inverted head and shoulders here left shoulder and again you can see if you go back to our videos i was highlighting this inverted head and shoulders and i was looking to play this chart okay but my timing was wrong okay direction right timing wrong okay so again it takes more than just direction in trading okay uh it's all about timing as well timing the actual move perfectly and that was impressive very impressive especially given the fact that draghi from my interpretation was hawkish and therefore there was no real catalyst to send the euro send the european equities higher especially with u.s equities being into resistance but nevertheless market's always wrong traders are always wrong <laughs> sorry market's always right traders are always generally wrong okay uh, so again we are now coming into resistance at 5 to 30 and therefore i am looking for a reversal here on the daily chart having said that inverted head and shoulders target let's just draw that in here ihs formation is your neckline which is 5140 uh, round it off to 5000 okay so you're looking at 140 point rally on the upside so your target should technically be 5280 okay mm, whether we reach that i find it very hard to believe but nevertheless we do have an unfilled gap at 5295 so so certainly a possibility okay certainly a possibility anything's a possibility in this market never marry one single direction 60 minute chart is into uh, gap fill therefore you are looking for risk uh, off and you are now looking for a reversal on the french cac so therefore look for potential gap fill below and gap fill below so two gaps some fill gaps below certainly attracting as a magnet for price action 10 minute chart still making higher highs and higher lows so you have to respect that for now okay 
Uh, I'm certainly surprised. I certainly shorted today on the back of uh, expectations of a stronger euro, um, certainly uh, causing havoc, and therefore looking for the uh, French cap French cap to close the gap at 5170 and potentially even this gap below. Hasn't been the case. Certainly, I've been wrong. Okay, that's the uh, the index hit 5225. So hats off to the bulls. Okay, they took out the high, uh, pointing the topping tail. And then started to reverse. So again, oil prices certainly have helped the uh, French CAC, although copper prices haven't. Bear that in mind. A uh, weaker euro certainly is helping the uh, the French CAC. So again, that certainly is uh, uh, something to consider in your trading. Uh, euro stocks again, very very impressive. Let's just quickly stay on European equities. Again, really baffled by this move. Okay, inverted head and shoulders target is three five sixty. We're currently around the three five thirty level. We are in horizontal resistance. I, for one, certainly wasn't expecting such a thrust high, and that is impressive, okay, to say the least, okay. 60-minute chart at the moment. You are now coming into gap fill. I didn't expect gap fill to hold. As you can see here, we've taken our gap fill. We've pushed even higher. Now, we are left two multiple unfilled gaps behind. We're into resistance at 3.525. Let's see if we can hold that 10-minute chart at the moment. Really is in no man's land, to be honest. 10-minute um, chart, you can't really decipher or gain anything from there or inter interpreting that. Moving on to the FTSE 100, again, like I said, initially FTSE gap down the back of concerns over, obviously, um, inflation number yesterday, and therefore, obviously, the expectation of rate rises, and that certainly being a concern, given the fact that copper prices certainly fell as well, mining stocks certainly getting hit, okay, uh, stronger sterling, hurting exports, etc., etc., and then all of a sudden, there was a reversal. Uh, that was number one, led by weaker wage growth, therefore, uh, certainly dampening the expectations of a rate hike, okay, and therefore, that cause the reversal in sterling which in turn cause a reversal in FTSE 100 also the price of oil certainly going past 49 approaching 49.5 in the back of IEA global oil growth demand certainly higher it led to the gap being closed at 7400 and then we reversed subsequently so impressive move okay impressive move good price action the FTSE that probably was the best place to trade I've certainly missed that I've been traveling a lot this week so certainly very hard for me to keep under breath or breast of everything at present either way that's the status quo folks okay that's the explanation of price action today 60 minute chart is coiling okay so watch out for that 60 minute chart is coiling again your resistance zones are going to be up here at 7410 watch out for that you're still making lower highs though so again be cautious daily chart really does explain it all you've got a symmetrical wedge which way do we break okay take your pick okay which way do we break that's the question which way do we break okay there is uh, the brexit bill certainly has gone through in favor of the conservatives uh, again i think a lot of it does the onus now is on the u.s equities let's bring up the s p or even the dow dow does give us direction for the folks see there is some correlation there let's see if i can bring up the dow for you folks give you an insight here dow jones down transports here we go uh, dow jones at the moment you are now back at that key resistance zone we can't quite get past that double top if we fail to get past that double top on the Dow, even though we have to talk about Trump's tax plan going through and Mr. Ryan and Mr. Mnuchin all trying to talk up tax, and we all know these idiots can't get, can't pass anything, okay? Even though we have hurricanes after hurricane, still doubt the fact that these morons will pass anything. Either way, uh, the Americans are a good laugh, okay? Uh, certainly making a mockery of democracy at present, okay? A mockery of democracy. That certainly is uh, is, is a good, uh, good little rhyme there. Uh, not as good as BTFD, though. Uh, that really is class. So whoever invented that by the effing dip, hats off to them. Certainly uh, deserve a Nobel Peace Prize. Okay, um, that's the status quo, folks. Okay, please, please be sure to visit Trade Signal, Signals and Market Updates from leading provider at www.tradesignal.com. Certainly download the uh, the latest app there and uh, be sure to visit cfds.com. Certainly take advantage of that bonus. Good